It is what it is. No issues on the radar, and you're absolutely correct. And no <laughs> issues, at least weather-wise, moving forward over the next several days, at least not with rain and not with severe weather. We're finally going to be nice and quiet, and so that is going to be a very, very pleasant change considering the course of this week. We're starting to clear out the cloud cover. It should be a very pretty sunrise with uh, some high clouds still out there. Now, those will linger a bit through mid or maybe even late morning for some folks, but by the lunch hour, things will be clearing up. We'll uh, see a general decrease in clouds. Temperatures will be edging towards those middle 70s by the lunch hour. Following dew points, it's going to be a wonderfully comfortable afternoon. After a brief little, like, what, four or five hour heat wave yesterday, did manage a high of 89 with a peak heat index here in the Twin Cities of 97. That was very quick because then the showers and storms rolled their way. And I wanted to show you a couple things I noted on radar from some of our damage reports. One of those is kind of lining up in parts of the northwestern metro. Watch the uh, several hours here just kind of rolling very quickly in most cases across the Twin Cities metro. Now to focus on two things. This line of storms that rolled north and eastward. Notice how these damage reports kind of line up from southwest to northeast. That's a sign this may have been sort of a core of the storm. And in some cases can actually mean a tornado may have actually kind of skipped across the ground. Now, we did actually have one tornado reported here just outside of uh, southeast of Visanti, although the National Weather Service will have to confirm that. But to give you a general idea, see this little notch in here? A lot of times that indicates spin, which obviously indicate can indicate a tornado. So it's possible that some of this damage may be from that. I'm sure the National Weather Service will out, be out there today surveying some of the damage. The second area is where Bill Keller is with Cottage Grove. No signs that this was a tornado, likely a microburst. Very strong burst of wind, generally in that maroon zone, 70, maybe even 75 mile hour gusts from some of that dropping a bunch of trees and then went eastward from there. Actually had a couple reports of tornadoes, uh, possible tornadoes in western Wisconsin as well. So obviously very active yesterday. Now we're done. Cold front now swing off to our east. Here's Wisconsin. Here's Minnesota. Kind of give you a broader view. All that pressing to the eastward. We're going to have persistent westerly and eventually northwest breezes over the weekend. And that's going to make things very comfortable by Sunday and Monday. Today, though, nice and comfortable and a big change from yesterday. Highs upper 70s to about 80. Lots of sunshine. Dew points will be in the far more comfortable 50s. Beautiful afternoon. 50s for overnight lows tonight. About 60 or so in the Twin Cities. Nice and quiet. And then for tomorrow, we'll be quite warm, but it's the toasty style warm so dew points will be held in check but temperatures will be in the middle 80s so if you you know one of those folks you're like hey I want to hang on to summer I want to get to the beach or I want to uh, play in the backyard pool another time or another couple times tomorrow's your day because it will be far more comfortable but far cooler Sunday and Labor Day we'll talk that and that's 70 forecast at 549 we're taking a break we're back right after this